Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. It is a privilege today on the summit to get to continue to preview the 2021 college football season. And with me on the summit is Pete Stanton, the head football coach at Dickinson State. Coach, I appreciate your time, first off, because I know, man, it is getting closer. We are just right around the corner from that first game for you. It's on a Thursday night against Black Hill State. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But you picked at the top of the North, of the North Star Athletic Association once again this season. And I read that you had said, you know, preseason polls like that, they're mostly based on past performance. Well, Coach, if that's the case, then it looks like they got it right. I mean, you, you've you been there seven previous years, and even the last six years, conference championships in each of the last six years, just three losses in conference play over that six-year stretch. So it sounds like they're at least headed the right direction. Yeah, you know, we've had had, had a good run, and our guys had a, had a really good year last year, and it was really – exceptional last year to you know to go through it and have an undefeated season particularly with everything that was going on with with COVID and I think our guys understand you know there there's going to be always going to be battles and there was a lot of battles last year we had a couple of close games and our guys you know fortunately were able to persevere but we're you know we're really proud of the guys for um you know what they've what they've done and 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 you know having that great year in the, in the, in the last couple of years and now we know that we have to it's full steam ahead and, and looking forward and now it's our it's our it's our 21 team going well, Coach, if, if I may mention one more thing about that 20 team also, because it, it was a good year last year. You talk about that, undefeated through the conference schedule. Uh, talk about the challenge then that there was one more challenge that you have to face, and, and you, you make a run through the North Star, 9-0, and pretty much apparent you're going to make the playoffs. The playoffs wind up being five and a half months later. Uh, what was that like to try to, to prepare your team that had you know played so well for so long and then for a playoff game? I know you lost in that one. Northwestern ultimately the national runner-up in the NAI in 2020, 2021 as well. But what was that like? It was very different. It was uh, no other way you can put it. Uh, you know, we we got through that you know season in the fall and had the, and, you know go nine and zero oh and you're feeling pretty good about yourself and then it's okay now guys we're going to stop and we're going to come back and and really it was just all uncharted waters and we had to come back and generally it was stay, the positive that was kind of the same time frame that we would have had uh, our spring ball. But in such a different way, we had to reinstall everything. And you know, kind of who took a little backseat was our young players, because that's usually where we can kind of get them up to speed on everything. And now we we're preparing for for the playoffs, and it's very different. And and if you you know you get into the game, I really think on both teams, you know, Northwestern's just had made the national title, but both teams it was it felt like a first game of the year again, even though it was a playoff game. You know, both teams are rusty tackling. There were some turnovers on both sides, and and it was difficult, but you know, especially when you you know saw teams out there that would have been playing for eight or nine games. So it was just a unique year, and and uh, but it, it was a different experience for sure. We're speaking now with Pete Stanton in his eighth season with Dickinson State, uh, his alma mater, no less, here on Midwest Sports Net. And this is where we cover small college sports and more. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Coach, that's a very good point. You talk about the opportunity then for maybe some younger players to get in during the spring. And, and I think one of the reasons that stands out to me about your team is because you do have so much quality coming back. You obviously had some losses, some kids graduating, but you bring back a solid, steady core in, in Drew Bo. Decker, who is a senior quarterback, threw for more than 2,100 yards, 20 touchdowns. Uh, you have a quality running back in Riley Linder, a junior, rushed for more than 600 yards. Tiger Fry is a senior coming back, and uh, he had more than 600 yards rece uh, receiving, nine touchdowns. Uh, All-American center as well, and Matt Day. I mean, you have a lot of quality coming back. <laughs> I'd, I'd like you to talk about them, but, but how do these younger players try to find a place in that? Well, it's you just developing some depth and 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 fill you know on our offensive line. You know we we do lose a, a, an offensive lineman and and we do have a couple of younger guys there. And we'd like to play six or seven guys on the offensive line. I think that's point one. Uh, I think the second point is uh, you know with our, with our receiving core, uh, we feel we have some pretty good depth there. We do you know we did lose Jarrett Lee, who was our you know the conference player of the year, and that's going to be a big loss. But as you mentioned, you know Tigers are all time leading receiver. So you know with him and and Noah Sickler and and you know Kate Koontz and and Connor McCarvel, uh, you know and several others, we we think we have some good depth there, and we we have some resources and guys we can go to. 
Coach, uh, same thing on the defense, and I, I'd love to hear about the depth that you have there, but you have players coming back. If, if you look at uh, the three different the phases of defense on, on that line with the uh, crew, Matherin, coming back, a junior defensive lineman, uh, led the team in tackles for a loss. Nick Miller as well, a senior linebacker who led the team in tackles overall. And then Dawson McLaughlin from that secondary, a junior, three picks for you. So, you know, in each of those three areas of that, that defensive look, you have uh, solid players coming back for this season. Yeah, it's going to be the, the most interesting part of it. I think if you start in the back end first, our, our secondary, you know, that was kind of our, our young guys last year. We really didn't, you know, we had, we'd lost three starters a year before and we didn't know for sure where we're going to be in the secondary. Now that those guys had a pretty good year. Now they all return, as you mentioned with Dawson and, and Tel Lundy and Javante Oliphant was a all conference player and, and as well. And then uh, Nick Miller, uh, you know, who was our leading tackler, wasn't going to play and was going to help us coach. And then he went through the summer and said, you know, what? as long as I'm going to these workouts, I might as well just play. So he's going to play for us. And, and and you know, returning Keith Mischke at, at linebacker, you know, is, is another guy that's going to help us a lot. The big question mark for us is going to be our defensive front. You know, we lost some key players there. And and it's kind of going back to what you said, we, we have to – get some young guys that know their roles and with that might be more by committee other than crew we're going to have a lot of a lot of different guys going in and out there until we know what we're really going to do and how we're going to establish ourselves on the defensive line well you get a chance to find out pretty quickly then the season starts on a thursday night i know that's not always the case with uh, nai but you're playing a division two team uh, on thursday september 2nd you travel to black hill state i know that's going to be a a big game for both teams as well and then back at home against montana western that's the first saturday game that's saturday september uh, 11th before the north star conference slate gets underway can you talk about your schedule yeah we're really excited about our schedule one of the things that we we always stress in our program is we have to do things to get better. And I think that was the idea with the schedule is, you know, we we're playing Black Hill State, who's one of our old rivals in the in the DAC uh, 10 when we used to play them. And, uh, you know, they're only three hours away and our, our fans are excited with the matchup as well. We'll get a lot of fans down there that'll head down to the Black Hills area and and, and play against them. And, and, you know, we don't know a lot about the team because, uh, you know, they, they do have a new staff and they they a lot of their players we haven't played against in the in the past. And we know they'll have a lot of new players but we know they'll be they'll be they'll be outstanding and 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 the same thing with western montana they're a great program that has been very successful they're a nationally ranked team last year and the whole idea behind that is is that we want to make sure that we play the best teams we can in our non-conference schedule to just really get us ready and see where we're at and 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 to help us become a better program all right, Coach. Well, success to you then. Again, it gets underway September 2nd. That is a Thursday night as you all are on the road. Like, I, I know it's going to be a big matchup. I know it'll be a, a fun one then before you get ready for the season and and looking to uh, see if you can make a seventh consecutive North Star title and make it to the playoffs once again. Coach Pete Stanton from Dickinson State, thank you so much for taking time with us today and success to you and to the Blue Hawks then over the course of this season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.